Get off your big black ass. to me outside Lucky Jordan, running with your hand on. Oh, God! Not now, not now, okay? You know what today is, girl? Today is celebration day, girl. Celebration time, oh, God! Jane, it's me, the man wanted to chop you, and it's me Who, what, who? That little poor tea man. The problem with tea, he wanted a little screw and a little feeler balls for a little five cents. Jane! But I wasn't bearing he no mind, you understand? Jane! Look, you will see the class of woman I is out. That was a little piss and tail man. A little piss and tail man. I didn't want to have nothing to do with him. And every time he see me, he want to insult me. And when I see him, I used to spit on him. And why you hand so? Eh? Why you hand so? I used to hawk and spit on him. That is why he chop you. But he do time too. He do plenty time. He get chopped back. He get the ass chopped back. Look, do you all why we talking this today? Get up, let we go down the road, now, man. And you do plenty time too. What you say? What does that you say? He do it time, he get chopped back, he get his ass chopped back. It wasn't you, it wasn't no, no, you. No, no, it was them boys and them in the band. I who send them in the tail. Why do you two lie? Look, he had to get it in the ass. <coughs> because yes, I stand up inside of the shop, talking to them girls and them inside. Ma Popo, behind the counter. And I stand up there talking, good, good, you know. All I hear is, look out! Oh God! And then I do so! That was it. This is the hand, you know. This is the hand. So tell me something. Whatever become of he now, Gil? He ass dead now. Dead like a simp. Six months. I nearly dead in that blasted hospital. Six months. Six blasted months, eh? Look, look, Dino, why you have me talking? This girl, get up now. Let me go now, man. I lie down here. Oh. And I thinking how such a big set of man could come to nothing. I hear he come out of jail and he was nothing. He must be nothing. He must be nothing, Dino. is a woman energy he take, you know. <coughs> God, you see what I mean? <coughs> yeah, drink that. <coughs> no, no, bring water. Bring ice cold water. What ice cold water? You have fridge? <coughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? Also, now we could have been down the road, eh? Enjoying we self. Enjoying we self. <laughs> Y'all, you're taking them tablets and them? Yes. Good, good. Drunk, drink up. Let me go now, man. Let me go. Right, come quick now, quick, quick. Come. And he was a real good shunt. Well, you hear? You talk about trot. Ay, ay, ay. 
Yes. It's when he hit you. <laughs> out in the road. Come out in the road, warrior. Jean, you mean out in the road. Come out in the road, warrior. Out in the road. Come out in the road, warrior. Out in the road, come out in the road, Maria. Out in the road, Maria, by yourself, no I time for surrender. Out in the road, come out in the road, Maria. Out in the road, come out in the road, Maria. I out in the road. Joe Pringy, lend me a boy to play. Sing another stanza for me. <laughs> Joe Pringy, lend me a boy to play. <laughs> Joe Pringy, lend me a boy, say. Ay, 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 Joe Pringy, lend me a boy to play. Joe Pringy, lend me a boy to play. Joe Pringy, lend me a boy, say. Ay, 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 Joe Pringy, lend me a boy to play. Joe Pringle, let me a part 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 to play. Joe Pringle, let me a when they put a boy in his hand, could I move faster than lightning? Joe Pringy was your father, girl? Shifa. Who Shifa that? Shifa Braffit, girl. Shifa Braffit, boy. The man was tall and black. <laughs> he used to look like he comes straight from Africa just to fight stick. He was the champ in Freeport for years. They used to come from all over to Freeport just to fight Shifa. But they could have never touched him. He was too fast. Mm. You ever hear about the great Muscovy and Cutaway Rimbo? Uh -uh. Well, I hear them was fellas who used to commit delicate surgery in the ring. <laughs> hey! Schiffer was in that class. Girl, so tell me now, is how you learn stick then? My father used to say, man, man is a warrior who walked from Africa. Mm. He used to call himself Man Man. Mm. <laughs> no slave ship bring here, you know. He walk for your own self with your own two foot. <laughs> and Ma would shout out from outside, What stupidness you're telling the children? Them will get licks in school for telling them stories. <sighs> Muma, Muma. Your son in the grave already. Your son in the grave already. Take a towel and burn your belly. Muma, Muma. Your son in the grave already. Your son in the grave already. Take a towel and burn your belly. Muma, Muma. Your son in the grave already. Take a towel and burn your belly. 
your will and burn your belly. Ever since I was six or, or seven, every time I hear them drums, like something funny used to run through my body, you know, like a shiver, a, a shiver. I remember the first time he take me to the Gael. Well, boy, it was like magic. I never see a place like that. It was the same street corner I didn't know, the same old junction in Freeport, but somehow with the men and them on the drums under the flambeau light, and the fighters with their head tie and stick blazing and chant chanting, like somehow like I couldn't keep my head on straight. And like it's from that day to this, I don't know. I remember once in the darkness on the junction, just before he jumped in the gael, my father turned to me and said, but like you is a warrior too. Well, that day, I feel a heat run through my body, boy. And like it's from the time I was 10, everybody know me dancing stick. Sometimes with man, sometimes with woman. But my mother never say anything. She just watched me uh, with the same sad eyes. The same sad eyes she kept for Schiffer. She couldn't stop oh it. Oh, God, Dinah, we let you know, girl. One day, one day he was out in the bush. Whoa! Sometimes he went out there for days to hunt. That night, when he come back, he had a limp and only one dog. He looked green. And he say how a snake bite him. Well, he suck out the poison and fall asleep in the grass. Well, Ma start to say she dreamed the night before she see the sign, a white spider. In her dream, she tried to kill it, stamping it, stamping it with her foot, tangling the web, but it wouldn't dead. It just watch her and laugh with the pink gums and red beaming eyes. Ma, shut up. Pa, he say nothing. He just go and take out the boy and limp out the house down the road. The dog running behind him. Ma, stay quiet. I jump and I shouted, no, 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 don't go. My younger sisters watch and laugh and run out the back door. I was 16, I followed him. When I see him in the rum shop, he was sitting down on a stool with his head resting on the counter and ram, that dirty ram, behind the counter telling him, how now beta, if beta not feel good, beta go home now. <laughs> but he pushing another pity quarter rum and a clean glass in front of his face. That night, some young boy ride in the port and issue a challenge to all the old batonets and them. Well, Schiffer couldn't help himself. He's springing the guy out. Well, the drummer's cracking. But Schiffer was carrying snake poison. And he ain't see where that young boy come from. Well, that was it. It lay him out flat, flat. The men and them, they pick him up and they take him to the blood hole where he, he let out the blood. He never recover. He lie down home in the bed till he dead. We never know if it was from the snake bite or humiliation. He, he could, he could, where is he couldn't see the stick from the young boy. Well, after that, things get hard and I had was to help out. So I leave Arena. That is the part of Freeport we come from. And I come into town to look for work. All it had home was cane field and bush. And now look at me. Eh? Look at me. I have no eyes. Zaina! They say it was Joe Pring in every year. Yeah, the sun hot, you know. Oh, God! 
Look, let me tell you once and for all, you're a blasted jagabat. And you will be so all the days of your life. I have my pride, you know. And me and letting you drag my black blind ass through the streets of Port of Spain on this carnival Monday for nobody. Nobody. No fucking body, you understand? I have my dignity. What is your problem, Dinah? What wrong? Girl, today is we day. If we don't play today, we might as well be dead. Listen to me. I played some of the best mass in this place. And you know nobody like you can tell me about mass. Mass is me and I is mass. And I am telling you, I stay in my pissing bed yet today. I don't know what's wrong with you, you know. I don't know, you know. You just trying to spoil a good, good time. I don't know, you know. Jean, where, where you now come from? How you mean where I now come from? Home? Well, go to fuck back. <laughs> home? Where the fuck is home? Huh? Where the, where's home? From the time I was 10 years old, my uncle started to interfere with me. He come just so early one Sunday morning when auntie gone to church and lie down on top of me on the bed. Well, I jump up and I push him off. I was always a fighter, you know. My sisters and them hear the noise and they get up too. He say he was looking for something that he thought he leave in the room. I used to have a wood dolly, make out a wood hide up under my bed when I was small. And when I get big, I didn't used to play with it no more, but it stay under my bed. I used to see it there all the time. All of a sudden, I miss my dolly. Two days later, I find it outside in the yard by the latrine, with the left hand break and the head rip off. And when I look up, so I see my uncle by the kitchen window watching me. While he washing him out in the sink. I ain't pay him no mind. He come back again that night. I tell him I go tell auntie. He hold me. He put his hand over my mouth. He was hurting me. He tell me if I tell auntie, he will kill me. He said that how I was a bad girl. I did hate him. I did really hate that man. You know how much times I wanted to stab him or to poison his tea? I ain't tell auntie nothing when she come back from church. I never say nothing. And this went on till I was about 13 or, 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 or 14. It hit me that this have to done. And they had no money. I, I, I see my father once. They say he working on the American base. I have to leave this place and find him. Find my own way. Find my own money. These people can't do nothing for me. All they could do is just fuck me up. A year after I leave there, I hear a truck knock him down off of his bicycle and kill him. They say he was drunk. <laughs> God don't sleep, you know. <laughs> I, I, I used to line with this dogla girl called Elaine. <laughs> and she was from Sour too. She used to come to Tongue regular. She was the one who invited me to come to the club in Tongue that first night when I went. <laughs> she was friends with everybody. Well, in fact, everybody was she friend. <laughs> I remember we went by a table in a corner to have some drinks. It was a kind of a dark corner. And when she was drinking, these two men come in the club. There wasn't Yankee men or anything, you know. They were local men, jacket men. And them did know she and what she uses to do. <laughs> so so they, they come over by the table and they start to talk and thing. Well, what ended up happening was, Elaine went with one of the men and, and I had it to go with the other of the men. And nobody never say nothing. And that is how it start for me. That is how it start for me. That is how I remember making my first set of money, boy. <laughs> it's a little while after I get to know that you in that club. 
and you have some weight with popo on them. Yes. <laughs> that is how I remember making my first set of money. I, I, I remember I went and I buy a yellow dress with the money. A pretty yellow dress, one with pleats. Then I went to a dance. If you see a girl. <laughs> I remember all the girls we meet by the abattoir. And then we went up the road to the club. That is the first time I meet the Lord. What? Warlord now, the Californian. <laughs> that useless good for nothing. You know, if you give them fellas a chance, he and Little Sparrow, they give you a bad name. They sing on your gesso. Next thing you know, everybody dancing to the tune of you on Carnival Day. <laughs> Warlord was good to me in the beginning, you know, when I did now come out, I didn't know nothing. It's he who first showed me. It's later on when we was together that he started to play the fool and play up in the ass with that nasty red woman with she too long stringy foot. Yeah. Is Warlord self What Warlord tell, tell you? What Warlord tell what you? What Warlord tell me? Here now, girl, I dare I'll pass by house. And when I passed by house, he wasn't expecting me. And I see that Bakra Johnny girl, two red shoes on the step. That Bakra Johnny girl, who he was lying down on the bed with, here in a girl, I went in that house and I pull her clothes. I pull her clothes, I pull her clothes, and I throw it in the yard. Want to play? He leaving me for that half scorch, half skull, friggin' maga head red woman. Because she little redder than me. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Red Oman, cousin Red Oman. <laughs> <laughs> but they say she was a Syrian. Look, Syrian, my ass. Here, yeah, a girl, I went in the house and I pull out all his clothes. Then I throw his ass out and all his drawers. Then you know what I do? I take my blue handle razor, I stoop down, and I piss on the clothes. <laughs> Come, Betty, never set eyes on that Bakra Johnny woman again. Not that Calypsonian. <laughs> Jane, no. you know when was the first time I hear about you? No, when was that? From them fellas, Lance and Leon and Janet Gang. They come yes. down in the club one night and say how police raid a fet in Sawo and how this young girl will now come out. Tell the police she ain't ready to go down yet to check she next week, and she walked away like Brooke Benton. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know where I learned that from. Mm -hmm. Must be one Lord or Marabonta or one of them. <laughs> but I couldn't see myself in no Black Maria with my nice pretty dress. And you know, the rest of them just stand up and they watch me walk. But they pick up with your next day, though. Yes, but I used to do them that well regular. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Jane. What? Why you didn't go home when I told you? Oh, God, you? man! Let us go in town, the man. You have any waste enough time with this nonsense? Yes, and look at us now. Jean, why you come here? Why you don't go? You feel I can't go by myself? You feel I'm afraid? Well, you rode me to walk, you know, and I will fuck well go and leave your ass here to rot. Well, go home, Jean. Go home. It have nothing for you here, child. Go home. And then you take and you cut up Rosie. Lord. Dinah, why are you bringing up all this today? Huh? Today of all days? Dinah, today is a day we could be anything we want to be. Dinah, if we want to feel good, Dinah, today is a day we could feel good. Today is a day we could forget and we could enjoy ourselves. I can't see my way to forget. <laughs> <laughs> 